Hey there guys, I am Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time, we explored more Grunty Industries with the help of Mumbo and we got ourselves a couple more Jiggies and that allowed us now to go ahead and transform into the washing machine. A very infamous transformation from the first game that never really got utilized outside of a joke. But in this game, it has a couple uses. We already used one in the last episode which was to go ahead and activate this giant button but now, we can use it to wash clothes. A washing machine! Can you give my overalls a quick spin? Throw them inside and I'll give it a try. Is it safe? I don't want them get ripped. Just drop your shorts, buddy. You haven't got all day. That's better. Try and find my five skiffy worker mates. Their overalls will probably need a quick rinse too. Oh yes they will. We've seen a lot of your friends and every single one of them are filthy. We need to wash a lot of these rabbits. So there's another one here in floor one. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Maybe Sawyer wash if you don't mind. That's better. Try to find my four Skiffy workmates. Their overalls will be probably needing a quick rinse too. Yeah, your friend told us about your other friends, so we'll, we'll do the same. Can I get out this door, please? Thank you. Man, that washing machine got some height. All right, let's go ahead and make a way over to floor two. All right, so this one, this one we actually seen pretty early on. So we want to go ahead and make our way over here into this top room. And we want to go ahead, go into this area. And this is why earlier on in this world, we activated that door because we needed it for the washing machine. Without that door activated, we wouldn't be able to get to this rabbit. So yeah, it was really good we activated that when we did. So... Go ahead and wash those rabbits clothes, and there you go. Another rabbit down. So there's only three more left, and we know everyone has dirty clothes, buddy. What are you guys doing? Do you guys not wash your own laundry? Like, wh why are your overalls so filthy and they're never clean? I, I question everything about you guys. It's a good thing this washing machine just happened to show up because if it didn't, you guys would be in a world of trouble. So now we want to go ahead and make our way outside here because there's a rabbit just in the corner over here that needs a washing too. This one's probably gonna get his clothes filthy right away because he's gotta get through a lot of dirt just to get back to solid ground. So this one kind of feels like a waste, but we'll help him out anyways. I like when you wash their clothes, the rabbit models become clean as well. That is not how laundry works. You don't put on clean clothes and then suddenly it's like you got out of the shower. That is not how hygiene works, dude. Take a shower as well. You don't want to put clean clothes on a dirty body. That'll just dirty up the clothes immediately. It's just such a waste. Can we get through this exit door, please? It's a little awkward to get around that door. Because we're a washing machine, our turns are like an actual washing machine. It's kind of realistic, which is a weird thing to say about a transformation in a cartoony video game. But I have a lot of momentum when I turn, so I can't just do a 180 turn. I kind of spin around, which because of that, kind of causes you to get stuck on certain corners. Hence why I'm just jumping around whenever I need to turn. Now let's go ahead and make our way over to floor 3, because another rabbit we need to go ahead and interact with is here on this floor. So here I'm going to go ahead and spin the camera around so we can see where we're going. And we can't really jump on top of these boxes, so there's not really that much of an area to go to. But as you can see there, if we actually go back a little bit, I want to show that again because that was actually really goofy if we can get the camera to do that, unfortunately. Sometimes draw distance in this game is weird. Yeah, there you go. You can you can see it. Let me back away a little bit more because I want to actually show the full effect. So right there is the boiler plant. And if we zoom in, a box just suddenly appears. Get out of my way, nut. I don't need a nut right now. So yeah, the box just appears and disappears based on your draw distance. So if you need a hint that there's a door back there, let the camera be your hint because it'll just deload the box for a second. Let's go ahead and open up this door with the washer. 
And in here, we got this big old coal room with another rabbit that's probably not going to get out of here but clean close. I just want to know how he gets out. He probably has to climb through the coal in, like, the top of the room because I don't know if he's allowed to get through that door because it seems like human or animal creatures can't, but a washing machine can. So I hope he has a card that lets him open this door. I mean, that's got to be the way he gets out. He has to have some kind of access card for that. Otherwise, I feel really bad for that rabbit. Alright, so we're done here on floor 3. There's only one more floor for us to go ahead and go to. And that is floor 5. So, let's go ahead and make our way all the way up to the top of the building. And this is where our final rabbit is going to be located. So you can already hear the guy crying out, but we're on the other side of the room. So, we need to go over here, open up this door. And then the rabbit will be on the other side. Alright, we already know the drill. We already got the heavy load set from your other friends. And with that, that's the final rabbit all cleaned up. That's the whole team's overalls washed. We'd like you to have this. Uh, sir, can you please move? That jiggy is on your foot. I am surprised I got that. That did not look like I was going to be able to get to that as the washing machine, but I somehow did. So, that's good, but... At this point, we're done with the washing machine. There is nothing else this transformation can do. So now with the washing machine all done, let's make our way down to floor two, land on the enemy's head because that's what I wanted to do. Shoot him with underwear, which takes a while, but hey, would you look at that? We got ourselves a special honeycomb. Perfect. I got myself the full amount of health back. That worked out great. All right, well, that accidental hit to me kind of worked out in my favor, so I'll take it. Let's go ahead and transform back to Banjo-Kazooie now. We're done with this washing machine. There's nothing else it can do. So it's time for us to finish up this world as the Baron Bird. So at this point, there's only one more Jiggy we can actually collect here in this world. So I want to go ahead and make my way back to floor one. And as the washing machine... We activated this button that opened up a doorway here in the basement. So now we can finally actually go into the basement and see what's behind this door that was on the top area here. So let's go ahead and climb up this ladder. And now let's shimmy our way across this pole. And in here, we can finally explore what's inside this depot. Now as you can see here, we got a really fast moving platform. That thing is quick. Wonder, can our clockwork actually get over there? It kind of can. So, we can try shooting our egg over there and it immediately falls down here. But it actually doesn't take any fall damage, which is very convenient. It looks like the game programmers knew you can't shoot a clockwork egg over there because it would just explode. And you can't even jump over here because, as you can see, just doing a couple jumps and... It will just throw you off. But luckily, a cutscene activates which will stop you from taking fall damage. And this cutscene here is to reveal our boss of the world. What on earth is that? I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here? It shouldn't be much trouble then. I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not to be let in the building. So? Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Uh, no. Oh. I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. So this here is Welder, the boss of Grundy Industries. We need to go ahead and wait around for him to go ahead and just do some attacks here. He's trying to shoot us with this fireball attack, so we're going to go ahead and jump around. And now he's going to try to suck us up, shoot Gnaea down his throat, and that is how you do damage. Ugh. Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. 
How about a few nuts and bolts? Nah, no thanks. Uh, we, we have a couple more years for that. Can we just give it a bit? Microsoft hasn't bought us yet. Let's go ahead and shoot him our grenade egg. Perhaps if I used my weight a little more. Those welders staying there, now he's gonna jump to the very top of the room and try to crush us. Don't make me come after you. Yeah, this guy's kind of a slow moving thing, but you still need to use Talon Trot here to actually outrun Wilder. Because by yourself, with just Banjo, you can't really outrun him. He's jumping high in the air now to jump back down to the center of the room. So just get into a corner, and then you'll be safe. Then he'll try to suck you up, and that's your time to go ahead and shoot him. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's better. Now, let's see how nimble you are. So at this point, the rest of the fight is going to have this electrical set of platforms for us to go ahead and dodge around. So we want to be very careful here. It's not jumping any electricity around the floor. It's going to try to suck us up here once again. Let's go ahead and shoot him with a grenade egg. Unfortunately, I will take some damage here because he does kind of pull me in as I'm getting attacked. But it's really not that big of a deal because I have more than enough health to survive that. So I can easily survive, get my health back for some of the nuts. And then I can just go ahead and attack him once more. So now we have one more hit left here. So let's just go ahead and jump around this electricity. And just keep on moving. Don't stay in place. Well, he's going to try to follow me around to crush me. But I'm not going to give him the chance. He's going to go all the way around the room. Make this a lot harder on him. And he should be getting ready here very soon to jump back up. And there he goes. He's going back to the center of the room. So now let's be ready. Let's stand here in the corner as far away as possible from the electricity. Shoot a grenade egg into his mouth. And that is it for Welder. Oh, well. Looks like my welding days are over. Ugh, I appear to be quite badly injured. That's too bad. Now where's our prize? Uh, I guess I can let you have this. Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding. I may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind the giant fan for safekeeping. But... There's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. Ugh. When do I learn to keep my big mouth shut? But we can still talk to him. He can give us some more flavor text. Look what you've done to me. I'm in rather a lot of pain. Ah, uh, My poor eyesight is the least of my worries now. That's pretty much what he says. He's just like, oh, pain. I, I don't have to worry about glasses because, you know, I have no body. I'm just a head at this point, which you gotta feel bad for Welder, but he was the one trying to kill us. Kind of what you get. Let's go ahead and get some more grenade heads while we're right here. Go back a little bit on our supply. It won't be full, but it's pretty close to it. Let's go ahead and use the spring pad here to climb this ladder, get all the way back to the top of the room. And now that we've turned off the electricity here in the basement area, we can go ahead and grab the Cheeto page that's on the other side of this room. And more importantly, just like Welder said, there is a Jiggy waiting for us on the other side of the basement behind a fan. Now we can actually access that Jiggy as well since, once again, the power is turned off. So these spinning pipes are no longer spinning. And we can actually walk across these very, very safely. Although it still looks a little awkward when you're on the side. It makes you think you're going to fall off and still take a lot of damage. So be very careful, but I'm just going to take our time here. I'm gonna get a clockwork egg on this one. I don't really have that many clockwork eggs. I used a lot of those up earlier on, so kind of want those back. Well, here's our jiggy. Let's go ahead and collect this. And there you go. That's another jiggy down. 
So now if we try to go into this room here, this is one more area we haven't explored yet. And in here, if we take a look down into this toxic waste, as you can see, there is a Jiggy down there. We can't enter this water because if we try to, we're going to take damage and immediately get thrown out. So don't even try to get down there. And another thing is, you may think, maybe I can use a Clockwork Egg here. As soon as it enters the water, it destroys itself immediately. You do not have enough time to use the Clockwork Egg to grab the Jiggy before it explodes. So we can't get that yet. So if we take a look at our totals, at this point, if you've done everything in Grundy Industries, you'll have everything but two Jiggies. This is all we can do for now. So we have done everything we can do in Grundy Industries. Now it's time for us to leave. So in order for us to get out of here, I'm going to go ahead and take this little vent, which is pretty dark, but up here there's a window we can go ahead and look into. This is how you would have known about the Jiggy behind the fan, because you can actually get in here the second you enter Grundy Industries. You just can't do anything in this portion before you defeat Welder. So that is why I waited until we fought Welder to actually go over there, because there would have been no purpose whatsoever went early on. So... Now with that done, there's nothing left for us here in Grundy Industries, so it's time for us to leave. And at this point, there's very not much more for us to explore in the Isle Hags, so once we leave Grundy Industries, we want to see one more thing while we're in the Quagmire portion here of the Isle of Hags. So go ahead and take out this minion, go ahead and get my health back up to full. And over here on this pipe, you want to go ahead and go all the way over to the side here. Because as you can see, we got ourselves some boots. Let's go ahead and grab these. Don't get attacked in the meantime, because that would be bad. And now with our claw boots here, we want to go ahead and make our way to the other side of this pipe. Because as you can see here from a distance, there are some footprints here. So we can go ahead and climb up to the top using our claw boots here. And now we're at the top. And you want to make your way over here and activate this switch. Now you don't have to worry about using the claw boots to get back up here. You can just use Kazooie's spring pad ability just to jump up to this pipe and climb up. But here, this is Cauldron Keep. If you remember back in the very beginning of the game, in one of the earlier cutscenes, this is actually an area we've seen Grunty go to. So this is our final stop in our adventure. It is written that 55 Jiggies are required to open this door. We have enough Jiggies to open the way to our final area of the game. But there's a catch. We don't want to do this right now because this area actually does not require 55 Jiggies. That only works to get into Cauldron Keep. There is a second lockout point in Cauldron Keep, where you need even more Jiggies to collect. So, even though we have more than enough to open the way to Cauldron Keep, we can't actually get into that area right now. So, we're not even going to bother to open that up. So, we're just going to leave that alone. Instead, we want to make our way over to the cleft top section here of the Isle of Hags, because over here is our next world of the game. Over here, actually, is World 7. This is where they start mixing up where the worlds are. And over on the other side of the clifftop area, right next to World 4, is World 7. It's a little confusing. We only need 36 Jiggies to open up this world, so we can easily go ahead and do so. And we're going to be doing that in the next episode. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we'll open up the way to our next world here in the game. I'll see you guys next time.